There is simply one endless birthday celebration where everyone gets a gift bag and no parent gets off easy. Do you think this country makes cars anymore? Do you think we smelt steel? No. The only thing we do is throw elaborate children's cotillions with enormous inedible cakes out from whence Yale graduates pop. Yeah. Mr. Simpson, the very fabric of our existence is birthdays. The quarks and bosons of your soul? Birthdays! You have tried to unwind the world, and you will atone. Sorry. You will be sorry. We are officially blacklisting you, my friend. Your children will never have a balloon animal maker or customized cake again. <gasps> no! <laughs> I don't want to live. Not their birthdays. Take Easter. Easter's nothing. Jeez, kids. I guess you've had your last birthday. You're going to stay your current ages for the rest of your lives. Please, I'll do anything. All right. The next birthday that comes up in this town is uh, Rod Flanders, and you have to throw him a party. Oh, um, how bad do you kids want birthdays? Dad! How bad do you want to sleep in Saturdays? Hey, hey, hey! I was just kidding around, you know that. You know, I was just... you have a deal. Let me make this clear. This event has to be magical. You mean hire a magician? No, no, no. Magical. Magical events change people's lives forever. Welcome to Rod Flanders' birthday party. I'm your host, Homer Simpson, and I can't take it anymore! <laughs> Stupid golden age of flight! I love you, mean neighbor! Attention, partygoers. Prepare for the arrival of our guest of honor, Lulu. This majestic V-17 has been lovingly restored by the same World War II veterans who see her every night in their horrible flashbacks. for coming out and... Abe Simpson? That's Mark Ridley, my old Air Force buddy. You said you were in the Army. You said you were in the Navy. That's the kind of mix-up that used to happen when I was in the Marines. So, what brings you boys to Springfield? Uh, we just want to make sure kids have a chance to meet one of the lovely ladies that brought freedom to the world. Why are planes and boats always women? Because they require a lot of upkeep and a firm hand at the controls. I knew there'd be a sexist joke behind it. I knew it! Abe, can you join us for a drink? I'm sorry, guys. My dad can't handle that much excitement. Please, I don't want to gab about the days when nurses kissed you instead of beating you. Now, Dad, memory lane's not what it used to be. If you hang out with your old buddies, it'll remind you of when you were a proud stallion instead of a broken-down...